Playboys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you guys already seen, I got some hydro dip carbon fiber parts. I guess you could say. Um, actually, everything here is fake, but you know you gotta fake it to make it. You feel me? So yeah, man. Um, we're gonna be installing some carbon fiber fake. Well, we're gonna be installing some hydro dip parts on Dusty. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my boy Isaac. He the one that did the radiator cover. The trim boot, I uh, guess you call trim boot trim, and I said trim boot, shift boot trim, and then he did my fuse cap. I wanted to do my ECU cover, but I couldn't do it because it's I'm using the cover as a mounting spot for my vacuum block, and if I was to take that off, my vacuum block would just be like sagging. So I was like, yeah, I guess I won't do the ECU cover. I'll probably, uh, yeah, I just won't do it. But um, yeah, man, we're gonna get into it, bro. It should be a pretty simple install. I mean, it was pretty easy taking off. Should be should be pretty easy putting it back on. Also, I did get some carbon fiber goodies. They're actually not carbon fiber, but it's for the interior. As you guys seen, they're on the table. But it's for all these silver pieces and some down here too. By like where my trash, little trash bin stuff is. But yeah, we're gonna be changing up the interior of Dusty because I am tired of seeing silver everywhere. If there's one thing that needs to be done to this car is definitely cleaning up the engine bay let me get a little closer for you guys as you guys can see look at that it is filthy like i need to take care of this engine bay motor is perfectly fine it just looks dirty as hell but hopefully when we put these uh carbon fiber pieces on well hydro dip pieces it you know makes it look a little bit better because i honestly hate how this valve cover right here looks and then my cash cans ain't even connected to anything that looks even worse Car just needs to be loved on. Well, engine bay needs to be loved on. I'm working on everything else but the engine bay right now, which is crazy. So yeah, let's get into it. So I think I'm gonna install. Ooh, 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 my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like I was saying, I think I'm gonna install this first. Let me just place it real quick. See what it look like. You feel me? Hopefully it doesn't fall. Oh yeah, that's gonna look fire. That is going to look freaking fire. So I'm gonna get this on real quick and put you guys on the tripod. And yeah, y'all just watch, just watch, I guess. It's about to be amazing. It's crazy how something so little can make your car look so different. But boy, it is hot outside right now. It's like 6, 7 o'clock, and it's like still... Let me check right now, bro. It's still in the 90s. This is... This is just terrible heat. I don't understand why Florida is so damn hot. It's 87 degrees right now. And it is 637. That is ridiculous. Now, this part... This part should be stupid easy because all you have to do is go like this and boom. Wow, something so small can make your engine bay look so good. I wish I had something to replace with uh for the uh the spark plug cover, not spark plugs. Yeah, spark plugs, the coal pack cover. Because it just looks really really ugly. Well, that one actually is pretty clean. But I was personally thinking of like titanium because I do have some titanium uh, fuel rail bolts that I'm gonna curse, like I'm personally gonna make. I already bought the bolts and um, all I'm gonna do is heat them up and hopefully they come out looking nice. And yeah, I'm gonna replace those fuel rail bolts with those 
yeah, I got a whole lot of things I want to do to this engine bay just to make it look better. It doesn't have to be like show show car quality, but it can't just look like this when I pop the hood because this. Now, let's do the interior trim. It should be cake as well. I don't know if I'm going to add the screws to this. I should, huh? I might do it. But, uh, yeah, let's get this part on. This actually is one of my favorite pieces that my boy did. This looks freaking amazing. Just like the Zuvi garage on there, the carbon. You snap, bro. It looks good. And it's going to look better, even better, once it's placed in the car. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a bolt and well a screw in but yeah bro look at that sheesh, sheesh. 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 i thought this piece was gonna look pretty fire on the car until i noticed that it's like not even a carbon fiber pattern like what is this what type of pattern is this like look my hair is good but right here, bro, what is this? I mean, I guess this is what happens when you buy stuff from China and it takes, like, 25 days to come. But, hey, man, I'm tired of seeing silver, so still going to mount it on the car. I think that's the only piece that I have that actually looks like this. Everything else is pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, they forgot me. They forgot, basically. What am I speaking? They also forgot to send me over this piece. They sent me this whole thing. I bought this whole thing. And carbon, and I don't need it because I just wanted this one piece, and they didn't even send it, bro. Like, you know how frustrating that is? And hopefully, they'll respond back because they are in China. So, yeah, man, I'm waiting on that if they do send it. It will suck to actually have to buy a whole new kit, the whole new, like, just that piece, and uh, hope that I actually get that one piece with it because I'm going to have all the vents, carbon fiber, but just one. That's gonna look terrible. So the instructions say for you to like use alcohol pads, and I don't have that right now, even though they did include it. I don't actually know where I placed them. So I'm just gonna use some water and a rag and just hope for the best. Five minutes later. Alright, so I have this piece, it's for the HDMI and you know, just down here, and it's just, just like that. You can't really see it, but at least I know it's there. So I'm gonna place that on real quick. Um, I'm just gonna wipe this down again with the rag and some water. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. Five minutes later. This 3M tape on the back of these things are not the best. Like this thing is barely even like sticking on it. Um, hopefully some heat, you know, will fix that problem. But yeah, this thing is not on there at all. No matter what I do is just not sticking. And I'm not gonna lie, the tape is not sticky at all. Like usually you could touch it with your finger and it'll stick to your finger. It doesn't even stick to my finger. So uh, let's see how, uh, yeah, let's just see how well this stays on. If it comes off, it comes off, I'll throw it away. Or oh, I'll just spray the back of it with some, uh, some uh, glue adhesive. I forgot what it's called, spray adhesive, I guess. And uh, try to mount it back. But yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. Not bad at all, but definitely not the stickiest of the the 3M tapes. Alright guys, so this is day number two. Well, what am I talking about? I'm continuing the video off from uh, where I left off. I kind of forgot where I left off, but we're making our way over to a 7-Eleven meet on 7-Eleven for 7-Eleven. And uh, yeah, bro, this is a, one of my first meets I've been to in a while. And uh, I already seen like a whole bunch of cops driving down. So hopefully this is a planned meet and not a meet that I have to already drive off. Because that would suck because this was like a 23 mile drive. But yeah, man, we almost there. Let's see how, it, see how it's looking. It's pretty badass. Hunter, wait, don't do it yet. I want to see it. What in the world? Hey, this is kind of cool. It is gigantic, though. Look at that. Sheesh. 
This is something you don't see everywhere but like Florida, I swear. Like, what is this? Is this a real GT? Oh, it probably is a real GTR. It's definitely right hand drive. Oh, yeah, it's definitely real shit. Damn, that boy scraping. Must they sound pretty nice. I gap it though, I gap it. That GTR is fire. Ooh. I wish there was more lighting so you guys can see how fire this is. I could get it? Probably not. But it would be nice to see. That's badass. Alright guys, so this round out the video. But before I actually do end off the video, I would say congratulations to Corey. That boy finally hit 10k. Bro, it's crazy to see where we came from, bro. A lot of people doubted us, but yo, we hit 10k. I hit 10k about like two weeks ago or something like that. And he just recently hit 10k too. So if you guys haven't seen his recent video, I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description. So you guys go check it out. Support Corey. Two black boys out here trying to hustle, trying to make it on YouTube. So but um if you haven't seen my recent video when I said I was gonna be giving away the LED lights, I'm actually am gonna be giving away. So we're gonna be hopping on commentpicker.com so we you know get a random person from the comment section of the last video all you had to do to enter was comment dusty the si so if you did that you're gonna win bro or you can win so let's do that all right so this is for the people that think i'm lying this is called commentpicker.com and basically how you do it is all you have to do is get your url from whatever video that you're trying to get so copy then go back into your url and it's gonna actually do a capture 9 plus 3 12 and then, um, yeah, I could filter it for everyone that says Dusty the outside, but I'm just gonna double check after I, you know, get the comments. So here we go. Let's see who won. So there's 26 comments. Boom, Teggy Boy 15, you are the winner. All right, Teggy boy. So all you have to do is send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore got the soda. I'm gonna need some type of verification to know it's actually you, cause I don't want nobody to, you know, fake it and try to steal this or impersonate you to win, cause that's 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 messed up, bro. But yeah, that's running off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head to the merch site www.zubigarage.com. Support the channel so I can help support you guys. And yeah, man, your boy's out. Peace.